Hi, thanks for purchasing Pocket Weather. This quick tutorial will walk you through the application. From the main location screen, you can add new locations by pressing the plus button. You then have the choice of manually adding a location or adding one automatically based on your current location. If you choose current location, you will be taken to a screen asking you the minimum amount of forecast days that you would like. Some regional locations may only have a day or two worth of forecast, so it will automatically find the next closest based on what you choose here. When you are happy, hit locate to find weather for your location. The application will then determine where you are, find your nearest location and place it at the bottom of your current locations list. If instead you choose manual, you will be taken to a screen where you can select which bomb location you would like to use for forecast, observation and radar data. Choose the state you're in. The application will automatically default the values for this state, but you can change them. For each location, there are the following categories which can be changed. Forecast. The highs and lows for each day of the next week. Observation. Details about the current temperature, humidity, wind, etc. Radar shows where it's currently raining and in some locations with Doppler radar how windy it is. On each one of the change screens you can choose from a list of bomb locations by scrolling through the letters then clicking on the one you want. Now I will show you how to update and remove a location. The easiest way to remove a location is to go to the location list screen and swipe your finger from left to right over the location. Press the delete button that appears. To edit a location, tap the edit button on the location list screen, then tap the location that you want to edit. To move a location, tap the edit button on the location list screen, then drag the location by the three horizontal bars. Now I'll show you how to open straight to a location. If you live in a country town like we do and you don't care about the rest of Australia, you can tell the app to open straight to your favourite location. To do this, go into the settings application of your iPhone. Select pocket weather. Turn on the open to top location feature. As it implies, your favourite location needs to be at the top of the list. OK. So now you've mastered these skills, let's move on to forecasts. The clickable areas are shown with green information and radar symbols on your screen. To see a full 7 day forecast, either scroll down with your finger or rotate your phone to landscape orientation. The landscape mode is my favourite feature and will allow you to see the whole available forecast on your screen. The green eye symbols mean that there is more information for that day. Clicking on them gives you a more detailed forecast. A new feature of this pop-up is also the sunrise and sunset times. The about button shows the copyright notice as well as when the forecast and observation was issued by the bomb. From the forecast screen, local radars are available by clicking on the radar symbol. The local radars show rainfall and in some cases also wind. You can zoom in and out by pinching just like in any other place on your iPhone. You can also play and pause the radar loop. You can change radars using the button in the top right. You can tell what image you are on as well as when it was sampled by the radar in your local time by looking in the bottom right corner. From the location screen you can also access national radars. You can change radars using the button in the top right. When you open Pocket Weather, it will automatically update your weather data. You can also manually refresh your data by clicking on the refresh button in the bottom left hand corner of the location screen. Thanks for listening. Now go out and enjoy Pocket Weather, a shifty jelly creation.